Good evening guys, good evening and uh, with all the attention on the England players returning home and their elimination from the World Cup lots of speculation right now as to whether the manager Gareth Southgate is going to continue on or not I think he's going to step down or there'll be some kind of mutual agreement with the FA you could see him staying on for another two years um, you know, at least to the Euros. Um, but I think it's time for all concerned to move on. And I think, you know, he would leave with um, uh, flying colours. I imagine he'll get a job pretty easy. I wouldn't say a massive club in the Premier League, but certainly in the bottom half all day long in the Championship. Like, he's not a quality, quality manager. He's a good man manager. And he's exactly what the FA want, a, uh, a person that will uh, basically um, do as he's told, you know, and play the diplomatic card at all times. So from that perspective, um, he's done well, but I do think it's been a missed opportunity. Now, what they're saying right now is the contenders, and they're apparently open for it to be a foreign manager, so it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, an Englishman, but the top four candidates right now, top of the list, is our ex-boss Thomas Tuchel, and then Mauricio Pochettino, and then Brendan Rodgers, and then Steve Holland. Uh, as we know, Steve Holland was part and parcel of of, uh, of our our setup here at Chelsea. But what's even more interesting is news coming out that Mauricio Pochettino. Uh, as his eyes set on the Chelsea job and as he's told friends that he's really really keen for it and rumour has it that he's pushing from the insides because um, he would love his words love to be uh, manager of Chelsea Football Club so apparently Todd Bowley is a little bit concerned as to how things are going now I've got to tell you if we were to do this right let's be you know make make it perfectly clear that it would be a very 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 brave and costly decision um by todd bowley because he's gonna lose a lot of face you know he put all his faith uh massive contract that he's handed out and of course we're still paying off thomas tuchel too but to do that and have to pay for that mistake and then pay more money on top to bring a quality manager in. Um, Pochettino was actually one of the thoughts, or part of the thought process, when um, you know uh, he was very much sort of looking towards Graham Potter. Um, Zidane was another one, and I actually said at the time that you know I could understand all this happening. Um, if it was a massive name, and I've got to tell you, Pochettino for me is um, a far more better and understandable uh, reason uh, to dump Thomas Tuchel. Personally, if there was any truth in this, in terms of you know Chelsea actually considering this, I would much rather them save some face if they're going to literally look like fucking arseholes and idiots by. Um, you know sort of chopping it before it's even started so to speak uh, because it's a better candidate out there and they've suddenly realized the error of their ways um then if you're gonna lose face then you may as well do it and eat complete and utter humble pie and bring back um thomas tuchel for me that would be the most uh sensible move um he certainly doesn't uh want he wants to come back to england but he does fancy having a go uh, at the England national job, you know. And Pochettino too hasn't ruled that one out. You know, he's he's reasonably keen, but I think Chelsea would be the one, um, you know, if it was entirely possible. So I don't know what you feel about that, guys. Um, his record um, is half decent. Let's be honest. He got a Spursy team, um, and we know what they're all about to two finals, a League Cup final, um, 2014-15, which I think they lost, that was the one they lost to us. Um, and he got them to a Champions League final. Let's have it right, and that run was absolutely incredible, the wins 
against Ajax and Manchester City were, were, were brilliant. And I actually thought when Tottenham did come to us that they were one of the best sides. You know, the football that they played was, was really good, really attractive. So I think he would tick all the boxes in terms of style. Um, he is a big name, a big fish, because he went on to uh, be rewarded by being the manager of Paris Saint-Germain. And he won the league there, okay, no great shakes. I mean, he should always win the league in France. But, um, you know, he'd he, he done well there. And um, he's up for grabs. And, uh, you know, let's be honest, it would be a great decision if England were to get him. Um, and for me right now, I can only tell you how it is. I don't think Graham Potter's the man. Listen, I'm behind him 100% because he is the Chelsea manager. I think it was a fucking error of judgment. And I don't want to keep going on about it because I'm always fucking gonna, because I'm that fucking, you know, rattled about it all. But, you know, if, um, you know, Pochettino was available, would I be concerned about the way they can just turn things on its axis, our new owners will absolutely. Um, but at least it would be right in a wrong. And I just personally, personally, think that it would be inevitable that Graham Potter uh, won't be our manager for a very, very long time. That's my personal opinion, yeah? I can only say it as it is. Um, as I say, if, uh, you know, if you were gonna go the whole hog and you were actually gonna you know, entertain that idea and do that, then I would much rather him pick up the phone at TT and bring him back home, you know, because um, nothing would make me more happier if that weren't the case. But, um, yeah, um, what do you think, guys? Um, what's your opinion on that? Would you be happy with that, or do you think we'd just persevere and, and see how it goes and trust the fucking process? Uh, or... Um, would you like to see something like that? I mean, some of the reports out there, Football London goes the extra mile by saying that Bowley is a bit concerned about things right now. And, you know, and um, I, listen, I, I don't know. Listen, guys, we all know what the, the papers are, are like in the media in this fucking country, you know. Um, but just putting it out there, guys, um, if it was possible, would you be happy with it? You know, um, let me know, guys, down below. And um, would you be happy if Thomas Tuchel become the, you know, the England manager? Or do you think, like me, um, if something like this is possible, would you prefer him to just do a complete U-turn and just flip it right on its axis and uh, eat a bit of humble pie and bring the German back home to Stamford Bridge? Let us know down below, guys, and um, much, much love, and up the chills.